Self-hosting applications can be pretty tricky for newcomers and learning how to do things the right way can be pretty challenging. Thankfully, there are numerous solutions available for you to make this whole process easy. If you just want to get started without messing with anything in detail, Unraid and other similar solutions are ideal for you. But you don't have very fine grained control over what you are doing. There are other similar open source and free solutions like Tippy, StartOS, which can help you to manage your self-hosted Docker applications very easily. However, all of them lack in one aspect or the other. In this video, we are going to talk about a solution which encompasses everything from VPN to Docker containers to file systems, etc. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Cosmos is a new tool for home server management. It claims to do everything in one application, from server monitoring to running dockerized applications to even its own version of a VPN. You can do everything with just one application. Installing and running it is pretty straightforward and we will do this in this video later on. In order to install it, you just need to make sure that Docker is installed on your system, which can be done with a very simple one-line command. Once Docker is installed, you need to make sure that Docker Compose is also installed because we will use a Docker Compose file to set up the whole server. You can verify the installation of Docker Compose with the Docker Compose version command. And if you see some output, it means it's installed correctly. Next, you will want to create a docker compose file. We will quickly go through the setup. Let's create a new file with nano editor. If you have ever deployed docker containers using compose, most of it will be pretty straightforward for you. So first we define the file version number. Then we define the services. So our only service is a Cosmos server and we will use the official image from the Cosmos developers. There are three ports that are interesting for us. Since Cosmos also acts as a reverse proxy, we will forward all external traffic to port 80 and 443 for HTTP and HTTPS services. Cosmos will then forward all the different subdomains running different services depending on how they are configured, which we will see later in this video. One very important thing to note here is that if you are hosting this at your home, make sure to forward all these ports from your ISP router to the device which is running the Cosmos servers, otherwise this setup will not work. Next we define the container name, hostname and restart policy and we will run this container in a privileged mode for VPN access. And lastly we will mount certain volumes. And the last one indicates that the container has full access to the system's root partition. Press Ctrl S to save and Ctrl X to exit. And before we proceed further, consider subscribing to this channel if you are interested in home lab setups. So now let's start our Cosmos servers. In order to start up, just simply write sudo docker compose up and it will be up and running. This will pull all the docker images and set up the Cosmos server. Depending on your internet speed, it may take some time. And once it is done, hop on to your local IP address to access the welcome interface for Cosmos. Now check the clean install option and press start. It will check if the docker is installed on your system and since we already did this, there is nothing to do on this step. Next we will ask it to install an instance of MongoDB on the server to persist some data. Click on connect and it will set up the database automatically. Once this is done, click next. And now if you want to securely access your self-hosted services from outside, you will need a domain. Here I will enter my domain and we will use Let's Encrypt service to acquire and validate our SSL certificates. Now write your email address that you want to use for generation of SSL certificates. And click next once it's done. Now finally you will set up an admin account. We will write Cosmos as admin and type a strong password. Everything is done and dusted and now we just have to reboot our Cosmos server and everything should be running as expected. If you have a new domain, note that updating the DNS records may take some time so you may have to wait a bit. 
sometimes it can take up to 48 hours. Now simply open a browser and go to the domain and you should see the login page. Now login with the username and password you created earlier and you should be welcomed by a dashboard. This will give you a quick overview of your server. Let's now take a quick look at the dashboard and see what it contains. On the home page, you have access to critical server statistics like CPU usage, RAM, network traffic, etc. On the left side, you have several tabs to access services like marketplace, monitoring. In the monitoring tab, you can get much more detailed information about the server. Another great feature about Cosmos is the marketplace where you can use plenty of pre-built images to suit your needs. No need to set up your own Docker Compose files. Just click install and it's done. And you can also expose them through a built-in reverse proxy and connect it with your own domain. In addition, if you want, you can also import your own Docker Compose file if you have a service that is not available in the marketplace. This feature can be very handy for some users. Now let's try to install File Browser from the marketplace. File Browser is an application that lets you access your server's file system directly from the web interface. This makes it very easier to see and modify files and even download them if you want. Click install and set up the domain that you want to use to access the file browser. Once this is done, click next. You can also set up environment variables if you want, but for us, it's okay. Click next and create, and it will pull all the Docker images. Once the installation is done, go to the domain that you set up for a file browser, and you will need your Cosmos credentials to securely access the service. Once you enter the credentials, you will be able to access the Dockerized application. In the Serve Apps tab in the left side, you can access all the running Docker applications. You can see that some of them are related to Cosmos itself, but the other ones are deployed by the user. In the URLs tab, you can quickly access and manage your containers. You can check the status and see if there is an issue and you can debug the service as well. One of the main distinguishing features for Cosmos which sets it apart from all the other tools is the integrated VPN. You can use the same application to access your server remotely. Make sure that the checkbox is ticked to enable the Constellation VPN, which is a term used by Cosmos for its VPN service. You can simply add a device, set up the device name and it will generate a QR code. You can also download the VPN client file. And if you go to their website, you can download the VPN client that you can use to then connect to the main server. Simply install the VPN client and use the configuration file that you generated earlier. This way you will be able to access the server from anywhere. And with this, we come to an end of our video. In this video, we have seen how we can set up the Cosmos server to manage our home server effectively. I hope you liked this video and see you in the next video.